Hi, it's Linda here from Empowerment Nursing and you've joined me today for our weekly test question. Uh, you may have caught our Facebook Live where we spoke about increased intracranial pressure and this is a uh, question related to that. If you um, want to look at the Facebook Live, please do and it will help you answer this question. If you look at the question above and pause it to come to the correct answer yourself and then play this video to, to listen to the answers. So here's the question. A client with a contusion has been admitted for observation following a motor vehicle accident when he was driving his partner and son to a hockey game. The next morning, instead of asking about his partner and son, he asked to see the hockey game on television. He is agitated because the nurse will not turn on the television. What should the nurse do next? Select all that apply. So for a select all that apply question, this is a very long question. You want to look at this and kind of reword it so it's shorter and really think about a select all that apply question as a true and false question. So these are five options within this question that you have to answer as true or false. Let's go through those options. Number one, find a television so the client can view the hockey game. Number two, determine if the client's pupils are equal and reactive to light. Number three, ask the client if he has a headache. Number four, arrange for the client to be with his partner and son. And number five, administer a sedative. Okay, so those are the options. What do you know about intracranial pressure? It's very important for you to think about that before you go through selecting these answers, whether they're true or false. Um, this person has been in a car accident He's in for observation and he's acting strange the morning that he wakes up. When you have somebody who's agitated or confused or restless, these are manifestations of increased intracranial pressure. And so you wanna know that critical knowledge before you enter into selecting these options. Number one, find a television so the client can view the hockey game. This is false, this is incorrect. You would not select that. That wouldn't be the first thing that the nurse would do, right? If she's thinking increased intracranial pressure. Number two, determine if the client's pupils are equal and reactive to light. Does that make sense? Is that true or false? That would be true. You would select that because the pupil of the eye is controlled by a neurological pathway in the brain. If your pupils aren't reactive to light, there's something going on in the brain. Number three, ask the client if he has a headache. Why would you do that? Does that seem true or false? The answer to that is true. That is correct. You would select that because in the morning, especially when they wake up, they've been recumbent all night on their back and that will increase intracranial pressure because of the increased blood flow to the brain. So if you have somebody waking up in this, particularly in the morning with a pressure headache, this is indicative of increased intracranial pressure. Number four, arrange for the client to be with his partner and son. That is not what the nurse would do next, right? So that would be false. You would not select that. And number five, administer a sedative. Does that make sense? You'd give somebody a sedative when you're trying to do an assessment? No, that does not make sense. That is false, you would not select that. So the correct answer to this select all that apply is number two, determine if the client's pupils are equal and reactive to light. And number three, ask the client if he has a headache. For the answer to this question and more, check out our complete study package. Bye for now.